Notting Hill, Notting Hill, Notting Hill. This is an area that is so iconic, I had to mention it three times to open up this feature of London living. No matter where you are in the world, I can almost say if you've heard of London, there's a high chance you've heard of Notting Hill because it is steeped in rich culture and history. So let's start off with the behemoth itself, and this is the Notting Hill Carnival. This is a celebration of the area's culture and history centered around the Caribbean heritage. And this is where you're gonna come and enjoy yourself, listen to some real good music from some good sound systems, or you can follow the truck and watch the mass as well. Or you could also get some really good food, and this is proper authentic Caribbean food. And if you're looking for a cocktails, we don't do cocktails because we call them punches because they pack a good punch and they'll have you dancing for days. So this is gonna be where you're gonna to head to at the end of August, the last Sunday and Monday, Carnival will be back and make sure you're there. But that's just to start off with. The next we have is the film Notting Hill, which featured Hugh Grant and Julia Roberts in 1999. This was a worldwide smash hit and drew many eyes globally onto the area of Notting Hill and contributed to the large amounts of tourists that come to visit annually. Ever seen pictures in London with colourful houses? That is Notting Hill. This is Lancaster Road and this is just one of the streets out of many in the area that are full of colour. So you'll be coming here and make sure to bring your phone or camera because trust me, you'll be taking pictures. Now, make sure you stay to the end of the episode because not only are we going to see Notting Hill, but I've also managed to get us some exclusive access for this feature of London Living to some of the local businesses so you can really see how the residents live. And if you are in London or you want to come into town, you can also visit as well. So if you really want to catch some of the Notting Hill buzz, make sure you head over here on Friday, but mostly Saturday. This is when you have the world famous Portobello Road Market and Goulburn Road Market as well. This is renowned for its antique stores and stands. You can also get some bespoke clothes or vintage clothes as well. We've also got some really good food, drinks and some culture. So make sure you head over here because this is one of the top tourist destinations in London. Now, if you're looking for something a bit more local with less tourists, head over to Goulburn Road because this is the locals favorite. Here you can get all the produce you need and you can support the local businesses. Now, in the center of Portobello Road itself, there is a monument which has stood the testament of time through the classical era of picture films. And this is none other than the electric cinema. Step back in time when you go to watch your film which has just come out this year. And believe me, you'll remember the experience. So if you're looking for something more chic and stylish, then you only need to head over to Westbourne Grove and Ledbury Road. Here is home to the selection of boutique fashion and high-end fashion stores. Feel like giving your hair some love? Well, you only need to step up and go to Portobello Road number 347 because the renowned hairdresser Charlotte Mensah has her beautiful hair salon there. She is a multi-award winning hairstylist and also has a multi-award winning Manchetti oil hair care range that is absolutely suitable for afro hair types and curly hair types. It smells absolutely beautiful and it's also organic, ethical and sustainably sourced as well. Just know that when you do go to the Charlotte Mensa Lounge, it's a really relaxing experience. All of the staff members are really friendly. They invite you tea, some lovely cake that is very popular with those who go there regularly. And you'll feel very relaxed while they take care and nurture your hair. And you'll come out feeling like a fresh person. Charlotte Mensa as well, as an individual, has education and giving back to the community very close to her heart. Hence the reason why she set up the Charlotte Mensa Academy in Ghana, where she grew up, really to give back the skills and education that she's learned in her Afro hairdressing career and pass that on to communities so they can thrive for generations. 
And also in Notting Hill, we also have a hair studio which is focused on the haircuts, shape ups and trims as well. So if you're ever feeling like you need to freshen up, head over to Anthony and Anthony on Westbourne Park Road at the junction with Portobello Road. These guys are your local favourites and they only operate by appointment only. So don't leave it till last minute and make sure you book in advance. I promise you, you'll be walking in there, you'll look yourself in the mirror and be disappointed at how you've let your hair grow for so long. And when you finish, you'll be stepping out with your chest held high. In Notting Hill, you are spoilt for choice when it comes to food. However, on this feature, we're going to show you three individual places, whether you want to have a savoury taste or sweeten your treats. So we're going to kickstart it off with Jusu Brothers. Head over to Westbourne Grove and indulge in this beautiful minimalist design restaurant, which is focused around remedy for the soul. This pan-Asian infused flavours with natural ingredients really bring about a celebration of both Japanese culture and the crew's way of life. The locals are normally raving over either the salmon poke bowl or the avodon, so make sure you give those a try. And if you want to step inside as well, this is really a calming and relaxing restaurant. I was even lucky enough to try the apple, beetroot and carrot, divine. And then the second was the orange, maybe sunrise. And this was absolutely beautiful. Feeling a little bit down? Well, listen, cheer up your mood and head over to Happy Donuts. This place does the best donuts in the area. They're all freshly handmade using organic flour, milk, butter, and Swiss chocolate. And even the fresh fruit ingredients for the ones that have fruit on them, they're even sourced from Portobello Road as well. So this is like the epitome of local sourcing and local business. Jonathan, the person who, who ran it, he wasn't here today, unfortunately, but he used to work as a chef. But even he said and admitted, I just love donuts. Like I can't get enough of them. And he decided I'm gonna start my donuts because I wanna share, share with the community why I love them so much. Listen, stop watching me get it. Go there and get it yourself. This is... Oh my God. So, if you're in the area and you're feeling like your sweet tooth is still going to give you a kick in after Happy Donuts, then make sure you head over to Badiani's Gelato on Notting Hill Gate. This is a gelato and dessert oasis. I have to say it again because their interior is so nice with the sapphire colour scheme. Everything else feels like, oh, this is actually quite a very nice place. Head over to the back, you get your gelato, you get your specialty coffee as well. And believe me, you will taste and notice the difference. Why? Because Badiani's has a team of expert gelato makers and also has at the head of their production, somebody who has also won quite a few awards as an award-winning gelato maker, and this is Paolo Pomposi. Make sure you head over there. So in Notting Hill, there is a focus on education around the primary school age groups. So we'll be focusing on three, and number one will be Fox Primary School, located in the Hillgate Village, shared between Notting Hill and Kensington. This school has received an outstanding inspection from Ofsted, with pupils aged four to 11. For another primary school, we have Colville Primary School. So this is situated just off Portobello Road on Lonsdale Road, and has also been awarded most recently an outstanding inspection from Ofsted, again with pupils from age four to 11. Now, we also have an independent school, which is a pre-preparatory boys' school, and that is Weatherby School, situated on Pembridge Square for boys aged two and a half up to eight. Little fun fact as well, that both Prince William and Prince Harry attended this school.
Now, living in the Notting Hill area is an experience like no other. Ask anyone who's either lived here or is currently living here. This area is literally a pocket of its own oasis. Also as well, if you're looking for you know, larger green spaces than just your typical garden square, which some residents will have, you can always head over both to either Holland Park or Kensington Gardens, and they both literally sit on the east and west side of the Notting Hill Gate Road. Now, in terms of actually living here, this area is dominated by the Victorian period building and also other buildings as well, which have stood the testament of time since both the 19th and 20th century and have been preserved throughout. Some of them even have access to direct garden squares, which are private and communal for anybody who backs onto it or looks onto it as a front as well. Always check with your agent, landlord, or solicitor, etc. if you just want to confirm if your property has access to this as well. But listen, even living here, there are many icons to this area in terms of properties, but we have to give a big mention to the colorful houses that are found on various different streets in the area. This is the pinnacle, not only of the Notting Hill area, but also London and even the borough which it sits in, which is the Royal Borough of Kensington and Chelsea. Now this is obviously one of London's most affluent boroughs, so it should not be a surprise that if you're looking to move into the Notting Hill area, especially and buy a property, the average property price is over 1.6 million pounds. So for connectivity in Notting Hill, you are spoilt for choice. You can either cycle because you have Kensington Gardens nearby and that will take you through to central London or you can head down Bayswater Road as well to head straight into West End. Now, if you're looking for tube links, Notting Hill Gate Station is going to be ideal because you have three tube lines, the district line, which will take you straight up to Wimbledon, especially during the tennis games. And you've also got the circle line, which wraps around zone one. And then you also have the central line, both from east to west, cutting through the heart of central London. Now, if you are going to be going overseas, you can either head to London Heathrow, which is 45 minutes away, or you can head to London Luton, which is over an hour away. But then you also have St Pancras International to catch the Eurostar to either the Netherlands, Belgium or France. And that is only over 35 minutes away. Connectivity here is superb. So to round up, Notting Hill is an area that is not only iconic, but has a unique voice and unique character. This area is full of flavor and color. You need to come down and see it for yourself because you'll have times to remember forever. Now, on this feature, we have trialed a new kind of style or concept where we've shown you a real insight into some of the local businesses to really paint the better picture, especially as we know that some of you may not be able to come back to London or you may not be able to physically view certain things given current circumstances. If you've really liked it, feel free to let us know in the comments section below if you'd like us to show you more areas in London and really show you what some of the local businesses and spots there are there. Because even if you live here, you're from out of town or from overseas, you can always come yourself and try these places out. I will see you on the next feature. Take care.